Andreas Beckler is a significant participant in the local and international arts community, not just as a collector, but as an artist himself. Now at the Projective Eye Gallery in UNC Charlotte's Center City, you can see the exhibit Andreas Beckler the Artist, a retrospective of his work concentrating on his motion studies, landscapes, figurine works, and self-portraits. Inside UNC Charlotte was invited to bring our cameras into the artist's studios for a preview of the exhibit. We are now at Mountain Island Lake, a place we call it Little Italy Peninsula Art Center, and it's a little grouping of houses. They're all built in the same way, uh, simple structures, and um, each house has four studios for artists to work in. We're now in the in a showroom that uh, I can look at images that are finished. The ones that are framed are um, those that go to galleries. And um, so, for example, if if uh, if you look at that green one with the nails, so that's uh, one of the figurines that is here, not yet finished, it's not framed, but it will go. It's close to being finished, will be on canvas and then framed. His work is primarily abstract narrative. So it, there's a sense of abstraction, but there's also a narrative and a story being told. He manipulates it after he takes the photographs. Um, and that's where a lot of the abstraction comes in. Um, he takes a lot of things in and out of focus and plays with selective focus. Um, and that obscures or clarifies certain aspects. Um, so. I would say that he's a very free play artist that does abstract narratives and it's somewhat postmodern, but also very contemporary. I don't, I don't think you can totally categorize what he's doing, which is what I like about it. So all these on that wall, you see there are all these figurines. Um, and then lower standing on the floor is um, the motion picture that will go also to a gallery. I found them uh, full of anecdotes, full of uh, sense of humor. Um, he de he's definitely playing with some kind of elements of uh, paradox built on, on, on scale, built on uh, associations and the context of, uh, of objects or, or the, the, the setting of his photo photographs. So they are, um, there are a certain level of narrative, there are some implied stories and uh, kind of intriguing, uh, intriguing moments which are relating to our everyday life experience. And probably um, I find them very autobiographical, that there are some elements which implies connection to his life experience. Um, so very accessible, but also quite, quite personal, I, w I will say. There are a lot of references to the water and to the sand, to the beach, and, and, and Andreas has been talking about it. And there's there's a lot of humor in them, and I think we can see allusions to, to you know, to the to, to the culture that surrounds us. To the in this area, uh, we see again figurines on the on the wall, uh, straight down. The three images they are not framed yet, but the framed ones uh, will come soon, and then they go to Art and Architecture College, also downtown. I'm lucky that um, Andreas's creative free play has transpired into this room and that he welcomes the fact that we have a gallery with two glass walls. And he's, as you can see behind me, he's playing with that. So he's using the natural light and the architectural elements of the room to expand his work um, in a more, more of an installation way which I think um, glorifies it, really, and our space. So it's a mutually beneficial situation. Yeah, this is an uplifting image for me. It uh, shows a girl that walks into spring and uh, for, the, for the gallery of the UNC, we, uh, we created um, a special installation on fabric for the, the window that goes to the street where the, where the gallery is. So it will be uh, a collection of, of uh, 
manipulation of this uh, mother image, what I call it. This is derived uh, from a series of shots with, with the idea of, of this girl in spring. And uh, uh, fr from, from this, we took uh, elements to create these, uh, these curtains for the gallery. Nature is always a big part of his work. That's kind of one of his, it's at the locus of everything he does, I think. And then he manipulates nature and creates these settings and these little narratives. These images here are, are winterscapes uh, from Switzerland. Uh, was a lot of snow and um, I transformed them into, into these uh, stretch landscapes. Andras is extremely humble, extremely pli private, and uh, gentle. very gentle, very generous, and very selfless. And I, I don't think I met anybody like that in my entire life, actually. He's, he's, a, he's very unique. My, my creative process is not uh, uh, thought out. It is picked up. It's there. And then when I have the, the chance to photograph it, then uh, that, that's the first step has been taken then. And then from there it, it goes to the computer and then uh, to one of the medias that I can print it on or, or it will be re-photographed again. Or I take an image that is now a two-dimensional picture, for example and uh, take it with me and go to the lake and put it in the water and put some sand over it and start all over again. So it's, it's a, uh, very often it's just a wonderful playing with, with what is around me. It's really exciting for the Center City Projective Eye Gallery to have him here mostly because we're kind of uncovering all the art he's been doing in the past 10 years that people haven't seen. And so we've, we're just elated to have all of this artwork shown to a lot of people for the first time. <laughs>